I have everything that I need to disappear. Again, you have to make it to where you can't be traced. Your license plates will trace and track you. A debit card, a credit card will trace and track you. If you make a stop at an ATM machine, that will trace and track you. I don't want to be traced. I don't want to be tracked and I don't want to be found. Cell phones will trace and track you. That's one of the main ones. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well as follow me on Instagram. Also, I'm gonna put the link in the description to my other YouTube channel. That way you guys will be able to go over to my other YouTube channel and you can see some of the things I do with filmmaking, some of the things that I do with photography, videography, traveling around the country, traveling around different places in the world, making videos and motivational videos. So if you wanna check that out, subscribe to my other channel. Right now, there's quite a few thoughts that I have that I wanna discuss with you all. Just let me know what what you think about what I say in the comment section that way we can go back and forth and we can teach one another right now you notice some of the bags that I've showed you all in my previous videos this is a duffel bag and this is my main emergency bag very important bag right here I can live out of this bag for months I'm still in the process of putting things into it and figuring out exactly how I want it to be but I'm still in the process of buying things for it and making sure that I have everything that I need for this bag so that I'm able to survive wherever whenever this is the type of bag that I would use to pick up and go you never know what might happen but I'll get into that in just a moment mainly what I want to talk about in this video is being able to get up leave at the drop of a dime being prepared it's better to be prepared and not need the things that you purchase to prepare than to need things that you don't have when you actually need it what this bag is for this bag is designed to where if i ever need to for whatever reason i need to leave my house in two minutes or less I'll grab this bag. I've pre-packed everything that I need to survive out of this bag. Now again, as I've mentioned before, there's still a few things that I need to get to put into this bag. Just military food as well as military packages of water. Those are on my list to get. Haven't got them yet, but I will be. But this bag has everything from clothing, light sources, power sources, blanket to keep me warm, a medical kit, very powerful flashlights, power cables, something that I can use to turn dirty water into clean drinking water, small compact generator. It has many things that I need to survive. Some of the main things you need to survive, of course, is clean drinking water and food, which is what this bag is going to have the most of. These are just two bags of many that I have. I always think about living off the grid. How can I live off the grid? How can I make it to where if I get up and go that I can't be tracked or traced? There's many things that you have to think about when you're preparing for something like that. No credit cards, no debit cards, having another license plate that isn't linked to your name. Of course, having cash, which is a big thing. You need to have cash, not just a little, but you need to have enough cash that'll last you for a long period of time. See, most people, they put all of their money into a bank. Me, I really don't believe in doing that. A bank, the only thing that that's gonna do is track you, trace you. Not only that, but they benefit more off your money than you do. God forbid if something happened in America and Americans make a run to the bank and do a bank run, God only knows if you'll be able to get at that particular time all of what you've put into that bank. They may give you a little bit and tell you, you have to come back another time. See, a bank, what they do is they use your money, make tons of money off of the money you've put in the bank, and give you pennies of what they made. That doesn't benefit me in any sort of a way. So you need to have cash on hand. And when I say cash on hand, I'm talking no less than $5,000. Now, if you can't do $5,000, at least $3,000 or $2,500 but you need to be able to have cash on hand. Stop keeping all of your damn money locked up into some bank to where you can only get it if they give it to you. You can only get so much out of an ATM and even when you do that, you'll be tracked. Your location and time of day. My whole thing is about living off the grid. How can I effectively live off the grid and not be traced and not be tracked? 
no cell phones whatsoever, you're going to have to get back to using paper maps. No cell phones under any circumstances. This is just a thought in mind. Places to be. Where do you want to be? What kind of places do you want to be in if you need to go somewhere and lay low? Damn sure not in a major city. You need to be way out in the country. And me, I'm thinking places like Montana, Utah, Nevada. Many of the states that I just named have very few people. I believe the state of Nevada only has about 3 point something million people in the entire state. And most of those people live right around the Vegas area. I always think about where can I go if I don't want to be found? What can I do if I don't want to be found? How can I do things if I don't want to be traced? How can I disappear effectively? What are some of the essential things that I need to disappear effectively? And how much of these things do I need? Food and water is very important. A power source is very important. In just a couple moments, I'm going to show you just a few things that I have. But I've actually done videos to where I showed you many of the things that I have in this bag. You need a light source, some source of flashlight. And I'm not just talking about any flashlight. The flashlights that I have are very, very powerful. I'm talking about to the point where it's pitch black, dark at night, you can light up nearly an entire block. You may be in the country somewhere where it's only land and you need to light up everything so that you can see. You may need a headlamp, strap it around your head. I got everything that I need pretty much to disappear. A few more things that I need to get, but for the most part, I have everything that I need to disappear. Again, you have to make it to where you can't be traced. Your license plates will trace and track you. A debit card, a credit card will trace and track you. If you make a stop at an ATM machine, that will trace and track you. I don't want to be traced. I don't want to be tracked and I don't want to be found. Cell phones will trace and track you. That's one of the main ones. So sometimes I run scenarios in my head. How can I disappear? I'm going to show you a thing or two. Watch this. So I just want to show you this book right here. It's called Off Grid Living. Within this book, this will teach me things that I don't already know. Of course, this will teach me a lot of things about living off the grid. How can you disappear? How can you not be found? How can you survive off the grid? How can you comfortably survive? How can you not be traced? How can you totally disappear and make it to where no one can find you? And the reason that I'm sharing some of these things with you all is because these are some of the things that I think about on a regular basis. These are some of the things that I strategize about on a regular basis. So this is an excellent book and it's many books like it. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to show you a thing or two that I have in this bag and then I'll show you a thing or two that I have in this bag. And again, surviving off the grid. For the most part, it's about what if something happens? What if your house catch on fire and you need to get something and go? Are you prepared for that? What if your house catch on fire and you have no time to grab anything? Are you prepared for that? God forbid if something like that happens to me, this will be the main bag that I'm looking for. This will be the main bag that I go to grab and I'm out. I would grab this bag before I grab anything else. I would grab this bag before I grab this bag. This bag has everything. This is very important. This bag is more important than, for the most part, money itself. You need to have everything in this bag that you need for comfortable surviving. Let's say if the power goes down, I'm grabbing this bag. Let's say if the power goes down and we have to go, I'm grabbing this bag. I have a power source in this bag. But also, not only do you have a small generator, but you have to have a small solar panel to charge that generator so that it can keep giving you power. I'm gonna show you a thing or two. All right, so what you're looking at right now, this is a Nebo 12,000 lumen flashlight. This flashlight can light up an entire block and then some. This is a very, very powerful flashlight. This light cost me about $135, something like that. I tested it out and it's very, very bright. 12,000 lumens. You can put it on another setting that is 7,000 lumens. You can put it on another setting that is 3,000 lumens. If it's dark as hell outside, you may be on the side of the road. You don't know what the hell may happen. It's nice to have one of these. You need to see. So this is just one of my best flashlights that I have. I'll show you the one that I was using 
or that I had before I bought this one. And then this one took that place. So I put the other one in this bag, I'll show you. So this flashlight right here, this is the one that I had in its place before. This is a very nice flashlight as well. But the thing about this flashlight, this is only a 3500 lumen flashlight, which is still extremely bright. The other one is 12,000 at its max brightness. This is nice too to have. This light here, this one cost me $100. So this is still a good quality, solid flashlight from Streamlight. So this right here, what you see, this is a medical kit, a trauma kit. This again, this is really important to have. It's a nice one too. Just in case something happened, I don't know, you might get shot. It has a tourniquet in here that'll stop the bleeding. But this here is a medical kit in case you ever need it for whatever reason. Maybe you may have cut yourself and you need to stop the bacteria or you need to make sure that you get that cut contained. This is what that's for. This right here, a real good medical kit. Very nice to have. This one is the Gen 2 version. Anything that I buy, I always buy the updated version and the best that they have pretty much. But this is not the best of the best, but it's pretty good. It cost me about $75. So inside of this case here, these are binoculars. I'm not going to take them out of the package, but it's very important to have binoculars. You may need to see something from afar before you get close up on it. So binoculars, very important to have. I'm not going to show you too much more, but I'm just showing you a few things here and there. Right here, what I have is a steel container, rather large, solid steel container. I can heat up water, do whatever I need to do with it. Maybe I need to collect some dirty water and later on turn it into clean drinking water. So it's nice to have a solid steel container and it has to be steel of course I wouldn't get the plastic ones I told y'all guys about that if you look at one of my previous videos to where I was talking about ammo cans steel if I drop this of course you don't want it cracking breaking and that's not gonna happen with the steel the only thing it's gonna do at the most is maybe dent it but it'll still be very usable so I have a steel container I can probably cook some things up in this get me a small little heater heat up some water you never know it's so many different things that you can do with a steel container and this is something that i showed y'all quite a few times this is a small compact little generator that you can use to charge anything you pretty much need to charge except for something like a refrigerator or a defreezer anything like that you won't be able to charge nothing that major but your everyday items you can plug a tv up to this you can plug a home lamp up to this you can plug a mini light up to this whatever you need to charge maybe it's your phone whatever you shouldn't have a phone if you are trying to live off the grid but you know what i mean if you need to charge a little small stuff like that you can do it maybe this is good for a road trip too but it's just about being prepared not only living off the grid but living prepared um, I also want to mention that this here can be charged with a solar panel you'll pretty much forever have power because you can get power from the Sun now this here this is something that I showed you guys before when I did the full review on this backpack but I'm not gonna show you too much more just a few key things this is a radio right here now with this radio this is not just any radio this is a survival radio this radio has a solar panel at the top again you'll never need to charge this you could charge it but let's say if you didn't have have a power source this solar panel right here will charge through the Sun it has a compass on here let me move it a little close so you can see but this radio has so many different things on it you know you may need to hear the radio so that you can see what's going on the internet can be shut down a radio is essential because you will always be able to catch that signal and you can listen to things that's going on with this radio it also has a crank back here if I unhook this you can crank it and charge it up that way this is very good to have and actually I want to get me some more of these this thing can connect to Bluetooth it has a light on it but this is also a power source so if I ever need to charge something I can plug it into here for example let's say if I need to charge my phone I can plug the USB into here and plug the other part to my phone and I I can charge my phone now one thing you should notice right here this is a small package compartment right here and many of the things that I keep in here is you know charger cables I'll show you I've already thought through this I spent a lot of time strategizing through this and preparing things so within here you know I got a knife of course but this is just one of my smaller knives but I do have a larger one you know pens a small little booklet because you got to get back to the basics pen and paper within this book are 
numbers that I don't rememberize that I wrote down in this book in case I have to grab this bag and go. I'll still have them in the book. Start doing that. Take them damn numbers out of your phone and start getting them down on some paper. And again, the only thing that's here is, you know, a lot of cables. Maybe I need to charge my flashlight. Maybe I need to charge my GPS. Like I say before, this bag is not done yet. There's quite a few things that I still want to get that I have not gotten yet, such as walkie-talkies. I want to get me some very powerful, long-distance walkie-talkies. And if any of you guys have any recommendations, write it in the comment section and let me know. But I do want to get some walkie-talkies, at least four of them at minimum. Not two, at least four at minimum. I guess I can start with two, but I'd rather have four. You know, just in case if cell phones go down, Another source of communication would be very reliable walkie-talkies. I wanna get a small, compact, foldable solar panel that'll fit perfectly inside of this bag and I can use that to charge my small generator that I showed you all. To me, you know, it's just about being prepared. I'll tell you a quick little story before I get up out of here. I have a cousin who was in a situation that's very unfortunate. Um, long story short, she ended up having to defend herself by shooting somebody. And in this location, when she ended up shooting this person, the whole apartment complex turned against her. Now this is out in Chicago, and she had to leave within hours, okay? Because of the person she shot, they were very upset with her for shooting this person, although she was defending herself. So she had to leave within the drop of a dime. She had to leave with nothing but her cell phone and the clothes on her back. And I say that to say, for her to have a bag like this, it would have benefited her. It would have benefited her a whole lot because she left with nothing, not even a charger to charge her phone pretty much. So it's nice to have one of these bags. It's big guns and pistols. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you all have any recommendations, let me know in the comment section because I learned from that. Y'all guys are very bright and sometimes you inform me about things that I don't know. So again, it's big guns and pistols. Thank you for watching. Peace.